On November 12, 2024, the South Korean Navy achieved a historic milestone with a successful first flight of a Grey Eagle SDOL drone from the amphibious ship, ROKS Docto. In collaboration with General Atomics and Hanwha Aerospace, this groundbreaking test saw the Grey Eagle SDOL take off from the ship and land at Pohang Naval Air Base, marking a significant advancement in naval drone operations. This mission demonstrated the impressive versatility of the Grey Eagle SDOL, capable of both amphibious ship launches and land-based missions. The successful test highlighted the South Korean Navy's ongoing efforts to integrate cutting-edge technologies into its operations, expanding its strategic options and reinforcing its capabilities in complex military environments. The Grey Eagle SDOL, also known as the Mojave in its prototype version, is a tactical drone developed by General Atomics. Powered by a 165-horsepower heavy fuel engine, it can operate on both diesel and jet fuel, offering significant logistical advantages. With an endurance of 25 hours and a maximum altitude of nearly 9,000 meters, the drone is designed for long-duration, high-altitude missions. Equipped with a variety of sensors and capable of carrying a payload of up to 488 kilograms, the Grey Eagle SDOL can perform a range of missions, including surveillance, target designation, and close air support. It can be armed with Hellfire missiles, Stinger air-to-air -air missiles, and small diameter bombs, making it a powerful tool for strike operations and amphibious warfare. This test flight is part of the South Korean Navy's broader initiative to explore new combat systems and enhance its technological capabilities. Traditionally, the Navy has relied on vertical takeoff drones, but this test marks the first time a fixed-wing drone was launched from a naval vessel, setting the stage for future advancements in maritime drone operations. The success of the Grey Eagle SDOL flight also highlights the South Korean Navy's strategic focus on autonomous systems to enhance operational flexibility and reduce reliance on human personnel. According to Admiral Yong Yong M.O., the test aimed to validate the integration of combat drones into naval operations, supporting the Navy's shift toward manned-unmanned -manned operations. The global rise of drone technology has prompted many navies to rethink their operational strategies. Countries like the United States and the United Kingdom have repurposed their ships to accommodate drones, and now South Korea is following suit with the goal of strengthening its defense capabilities. The Navy plans to expand its use of autonomous drones for tasks like surface target detection and undersea threat identification, bolstering its ability to address the evolving security challenges in the region. With this successful flight, the South Korean Navy has taken a significant step forward in its mission to modernize and strengthen its naval forces. The future of naval warfare is increasingly driven by autonomous systems, and South Korea is positioning itself as a leader in this new era of defense technology.